Hello everyone, just going to uh, upgrade the OEM small filter on this uh, KTM 300 TPI with a, I think it's a Gol, a Golan filter. It has a screen that you can, um, you can clean, so it should be pretty easy. You're, it's for the quick release. I believe this is the 5 cents inch fuel line, which I think most would be. And we're just going to need to we're going to unplug this first and then you only need to change out one side since one side is quick release. I put some um, silicone grease on the O-rings there to help them go in a little easier. So let's go ahead and make this upgrade. You'd make this upgrade because the OEM one can get clogged pretty easily and this has a wider surface area. Um, so that would be the main reason. So I'm going to unplug this quick disconnect. There's just a button. I put a shop towel underneath. There's just a button that you push. And then this will pretty quickly unplug. Okay, there we go. That's unplugged. That's all there is to that. Um, I'll wipe off this fitting to get it nice and clean. And then it's just a matter of um, really removing this dog ear with a screwdriver. And then replacing this into there and then plugging this back into this end and that's that's it let's go ahead and take a dog ear off take a screwdriver in and spread that dog ear and then we can um, put the new dog dog ear on and crimp it so this is what you'll be taking off and replacing with the filter and then to take off this little Oedeker clamp or um, dog ear clamp um, I just put a a screwdriver kind of in this dog ear and pry it a little bit and then I couldn't quite completely get it all the way off so I put a needle nose in there and I was able to twist it and eventually loosen that up and then was able to work you know get on there and then pop that up sometimes you can get a screwdriver in here and just tap it a few times and drive it through and loosen this up but eventually it'll it'll loosen up the, the clamp The kit comes with a new clamp that I have on the hose that I'll show you in a moment. Um, to do that, I'm using this Motion Pro side jaw pincher tool. Um, looks like the it's Motion Pro 12-0073. And you can pinch the dog ear from the front or you can pinch it from the side. So here we are, we have this all ready to go. It's just a matter now of um, clamping that. I have that where it needs to be. I'm just gonna get my clamp, um, Motion Pro clamp on this dog ear back here and pinch that down to tighten it. But I have everything seated and in place. And then it's just a matter of plugging this in to the, to the new filter. I know it's hard to see, but here's how I have that oriented to, to clamp that. Hopefully you can see that, and it's just gonna be a matter of squeezing this and clamping that. Okay, now that we have that clamped, now it's just a matter of plugging our OEM clamp into the new filter. I put a little silicone grease around those O-rings and we'll plug it in. Okay, there it is, it's installed. Um, you can still service it. You just kind of push a button and unplug it, and then this has a 14 millimeter um, cutout here, and it just kind of will unscrew. And that's really all there is to it. And the, it's high flow. It also has a serviceable screen. And because of the higher surface area, larger surface area, it's very unlikely that you'll you'll plug that. And if you happen to on a trail, you could you could service it in a pinch. So that would be the purpose for this high flow screen. So here it is, all installed. Um, the purpose of this would be to have a higher flow rate, which isn't a restriction on this bike, but I'm doing it so that I don't get the OEM filter plugged on a ride. Um, this, with this higher surface area of the filter, it's very unlikely that you would have a, a plug, a problem, a running runnability problem due to a plugged filter. And if you did, you could disassemble it, blow out the screen, it's, it's serviceable, and then replace it. 
Um, and then here I got this from Jeff Slavens Racing. I'm not sponsored by him in any way, but um, compact fuel filter quick release, GP50 quick one OR or KTM. I got the orange one. I work on a Husky too. So I like this one because I have a I have a bigger one on this on this bike, and it's it's rather large. Um, it actually works fine, so I'm I'm leaving it for now and. Um, and it's a nice product too, but it's just a little bit bigger. So the Husky is going to get a Golan filter as well, but a blue one. Um, the KTM over there already has the orange one, so here it is for the Husky. It's a, um, a Golan filter, the compact one. And got it from Slavens Racing. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. It's a compact fuel filter, quick release. Uh, I have the Sure Shot on there, which has, which has worked just fine. Um, I think this one's a little more compact. This one hits the case a little bit, which isn't a problem. Um, but I'm just going to put this other one on since it's blue. So, um, but the Sure Shot has worked fine, hasn't caused any issues at all. Um, so I want to make that clear. Normally, this is what you'd be taking off on this side. But since this has already been removed to put this on, then it'll just be a matter of loosening this, this up and then um, crimping this um, little clamp here um, as I did on the other bike. So it should be a pretty, pretty easy, quick install. I'll just take off this end here, quick disconnect that off, and put the new filter on. So just like on my other bike, you want to put some rags underneath this because when I quick disconnect this, some residual fuel that's in the lines from both ends will drain out. So to get this loose, it's just a matter of, you know, depressing this button and then pushing over and this will quick disconnect off. And then I'll just undo this one. If you had the stock one on, you just have to remove that dog ear clamp. You know, there's other names for those, but I'm not sure what that is. So we're going to use this side jaw pincher tool by Motion Pro for that, that clamp. Um, I'm going to put a little of this um, Silglide grease on here on these rubber o-rings so they don't tear. And uh, we'll just put this new clamp, the new clamp around the fuel line that came with the kit right here. And we'll install this. Just make sure you have the fuel arrow going the right way. Fuel flow is going that way. so. It'll be installed like that, which you can't match, mess up because of the quick disconnect's going to go that way. And I'm going to put this on without the OEM fuel filter because this, this is good enough. So let's uh, put this in, clamp it, and then a little uh, silicone grease on these O-rings and click it in there. And that's it. The filter easily comes apart with a 14mm uh, wrench. Just screws apart, and then here's the little filter, stainless steel filter in there that can come out. Nice surface area, it's serviceable, you can rinse it out. I'm gonna put a little silicone grease around here so that that's easier to disassemble when it's on the bike. You don't have to do that, but yeah, nice quality filter. And fully serviceable. I just put a little grease around the threads here, and then also on the O-ring, I'm not getting any inside the filter. Um, I'll just make it so that it can't seize together. I don't think it would anyway, but just to be sure, you know, metal to metal or aluminum to aluminum even, let's just um, put something on there. And this has an O-ring in there, so it doesn't need to be crazy tight, but it does need to be snug. Nice, nice quality product. Test fit this how you want it before you clamp that, because once you clamp it, you're pretty much committed. So that's how I want it. I want the clamp to where I can get at it. And the G showing just kind of looks good that way. You can see the arrow of flow. So that's how I'm going to put mine on. Now I've got that how I want it. And I'm just going to clamp that. So there it is. It's clamped. You don't want to squeeze it overly hard. You can kind of tell when it bottoms out and stops. Now I'll just put some silicone grease on here. And then we'll just insert it in. And actually, there, there isn't an OEM filter in there. That's just uh, the mechanism for locking this. I think you could put a 
filter actually in here if you needed to. It looks like it's recessed for that. The OEM filter that is. But I'm not going to do that because it has a good filter here. Okay, there it is all installed. Um, looks good. And best of all, it's something you could service on the trail if you had to, if you for some reason got that plugged and this just snapped right in there. And now to service it, you just disconnect that. This would unscrew off of here. You wouldn't need to ever mess with that again and just blow out that filter or use the solvent. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I think it's worth the upgrade. They're not cheap, around $65, but it is something you could service on the trail if that happened to get plugged. So that's worth something. And it, it looks nice. It's a nice quality part. All right, get out there and get some two wheel therapy and ride. So here's the OEM filter. If you wanted to run it, you could, you could put it in, you know, it would go in right, right there and you could run that and then snap it back together. I'm not going to worry about that, but you sure could. There it is with that end click together. So here it is on the KTM 300 TPI. And here it is on, installed on the, on the Husky 350S. So in summary, why would you use this filter? Well, it looks cool because it's billet. So there's something to that. It's got a large surface area. So it'd be hard for this thing to get plugged while you're riding. You could run the OEM and the stainless steel filter if you want to, it's another perk. Uh, it uses the factory disconnect, which is nice. We only have to swap this side out. And then um, the last point is the stainless steel um, filter that's in there is um, reusable. You can service it and clean it and use it as many, clean it as many times as you want. So those are all reasons you'd wanna do this upgrade. Hello everyone, just going to uh, upgrade the OEM small filter on this uh, KTM 300 TPI with a, I think it's a Gol, a Golan filter. It has a screen that you can, um, you can clean, so it should be pretty easy. You're, it's for the quick release. I believe this is the 5 16th inch fuel line, which I think most would be. And we're just going to need to we're gonna unplug this first, and then you only need to change out one side since one side is quick release. I put some um, silicone grease on the O-rings there to help them go in a little easier. So let's go ahead and make this upgrade.